Can I date my best friend's ex? Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today we're talking about should I date my best friend's ex? So obviously if you found this video, then you want to date your best friend's ex. So let's see if this is a good idea for you to do. So the first thing that you need to think about is the length of your best friend and his ex or her ex's relationship. How long were they together? So obviously if this was like a really short fling, like they were only together for like a week or maybe a couple of months, um, then maybe it would be okay for you to date them. However, if this was your best friend's like wife or husband, and they were together, or they were together for a very long time, like over a year. So if they was anything over, let's say six months, then probably this isn't a good idea for you to do. The next thing that you need to consider is how long you've actually known your best friend. So perhaps this might be the best friend that you've made at uni. So it could be you've only known each other for a few weeks or for a few months, or it could be someone that you've known for years. And again, the longer you have known your best friend, the more likely it is a bad thing for you to do. So in my personal opinion, this is something I wouldn't do no matter how long they have been together or how long I had been best friends with my best friend. Um, it's just something that I personally wouldn't do. But I understand that there are people out there where this situation might work for them. So obviously I'm going to cater to the people that really, really, really do want this to happen. So if you really, really, really do want this to happen, then the thing that you need to understand is that you need to be prepared to lose your best friend, even if they tell you that they were okay with it. Because there has been instances that I've seen in, you know, when I was at college and university, you know, when this kind of thing would happen, even when I was at school, you know, um, everyone was dating each other and friendships did crumble because of these things, you know, dating best friends exes, because sometimes this happens with just friends as well, you know, it doesn't have to be a best friend, but if it's your best friend, then obviously, you know, the betrayal there is going to be a lot more, even if they say, oh, it's okay, because sometimes we just say, oh, it's okay, yeah, sure, you can do this, just to be a good friend, just to be nice. And we don't want to, shall we say, hold back on other people's happiness. We don't want to bring other people down and say what they can and cannot do. And that might be what your best friend will say or has said if you have asked if it's okay to date their ex. Um, so they might be going, yeah, sure, why not? That's I, that you do what you like. But inside, they might actually be feeling something completely different. So if you are prepared to actually do this, then of course you need to consider the fact that you might actually lose your best friend in the process and weigh out your options from there. Another thing that you want to consider is, is this person, the person that you want to date, is their ex someone I even really want to be with? Because sometimes we get so drawn into the passion we feel about someone or how good looking they are, but we actually find out that these people are completely different from us and you can't rely on passion alone. You need to understand if this person, this you need to see if this person's values and lifestyle matches yours, if you have the same interests. Because if you like to party every single weekend and they're more of a person that likes to stay at home, you know, then obviously you're gonna come into some conflict. So you need to make sure that this person has the same kind of lifestyle that you have because you cannot rely on passion alone. Let's say they're a really active fit person and they love to go to the gym, they love to go running or cycling, but you're someone who's a couch potato. Now obviously someone who's really fit and healthy, they obviously really value exercise and having a healthy lifestyle. And if you don't have a healthy lifestyle and you're not willing to change to have a you know, healthy lifestyle, then you're gonna run into problems. You know, you two might be, you know, okay for like a few months because you're relying on passion, but when that initial honeymoon stage fades and, you know, you're living together or you've just been, you know, in a long-term thing, then what will happen is you will start to resent each other because neither of you are actually the same because neither of you have the same values and the same lifestyle, you know. They might really want kids, but you might not want kids. They might want to get married, but you might not want to get married. So you need to make sure that you too are, you know, you have the same values and the same lifestyle, because if you don't, you're gonna run into a lot of problems. 
don't rely on your passion and uh, how you feel about this person. Because once that fades, you are just going to be relying on your common interests and the things that you value in life. And if those things are not in alignment, you're gonna run into problems and you could potentially lose your best friend for a girl or a guy. It was just going to fizzle out with anyway. So the last thing you need to consider as well is, do they even like you back? Because I know there are some people out there that might be watching this that really has a big crush on their best friend's ex, but they haven't even talked to that girl. They haven't even you know, asked them out or seen if they like you back. Um, you might have even just asked your best friend, is it okay if I ask your ex out, you know? And you don't even know if they're gonna say yes yet. And you know, if, you, if they say no, and your friend is feeling hurt by you've asked their ex out, there's gonna be some conflict there. You might even just lose your best friend by asking this girl out and she says no. And what's the point then? You get nothing, you've lost your best friend and you've potentially lost someone that you could date. So you've lost everything in that scenario. So you really need to look at your options and weigh up the options. So obviously there's probably people out there that have probably already been talking to this ex. Um, so you may have already established some kind of bond and you're kind of worried about asking your best friend if it's okay to date them. So in that instance, weigh up the other options that I've already discussed. I guess you could say a word of warning. Um, doing this sort of thing isn't a very honorable thing to do. Um, usually, you know, if you, especially if this is a really good friend of yours, I mean, if you've typed in best friend to find this, then obviously this person means a lot to you, otherwise they wouldn't be your best friend. So I think deep down you know that it's not the right thing to do. I don't judge, but just remember that your actions do have consequences and you may very well lose your best friend over someone that you're not even gonna have a long-term thing with anyway. So you need to be very, very careful with this situation because it could get very messy. And if you have a friendship group as well, so let's say you and your best friend have other people that hang out with you, so let's say you go to a bar or something all together, um, it could ruin, potentially ruin your friendships with other people as well, especially if word gets around. And if you do have a friendship group with this person, word will get around. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you won't get over it in the future um, and you can't overcome this with your best friend, um, especially if you have a really tight bond, it might be something that you can get over. Um, but you really need to take in consideration how you would feel if your best friend dated one of your exes. You know, and because if you're best friends as well, um, it means that that person's always going to be in your best friend's life because let's say you get married to your best friend's ex and that person is still your best friend at that time, they're gonna have to bump into their ex and see their ex. It's just gonna be awkward for them. Um, you know, personally, when <laughs> I've split up with someone, you know, I don't want anything to do with them. I don't want any common friends. I don't want, you know, I've, I've tried it before in the past and it just never worked. It made me feel awkward. Um, so usually when that kind of thing happens, like I cut all ties with, my ex completely. Um, so if I, if my best friend happened to date my ex, that would mean that that ex would then have to come back into my life at certain events and parties. And it's just unnecessary drama, basically. Um, and unnecessary sort of anxiety as well, because no one really likes bumping into their ex. So that's something else to consider as well. Just imagine if your best friend dated one of your exes and that means that every social gathering you go to, that means your ex is gonna be there. Um, it's just kind of weird. And it, it kind of is also a weird feeling as well, knowing that your best friend is with your ex, you know, like sleeping with them and stuff. Like that's kind of not a thought that you wanna have. Um, to, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of icky to me. But you know, I like I said, I don't judge you do you. Um, if you're willing to take the risks and you've weighed up your options and it's still something that you want to do after watching this video, then go right ahead. Um, just be very aware of the consequences. Obviously these videos are very generalized, so if you would like help with a specific situation, then please go to www.christineloverage.com shop. Alternatively, you can use the email address provided in this video's description box and we can sort out some coaching. If you found this video informative, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.